hundreds of bodies lying in the streets. Panic spread worldwide after a leaked report from the World Health Organization. What do we do about stuff that we don't know about? How do we keep an eye on this? You mentioned surveillance a few times there. How, how, are we, how do we look for new stuff? Where are we looking for it? Uh, for the plan of that list of, of diseases that could cause or that, uh, that the sci scientific community thinks that they can cause uh, uh, outbreaks and pandemics, then the idea in the, in the last couple of years, and there's more funding coming, uh, coming to it, is actually to be prepared and, and mm. for, for that to create uh, vaccines and to develop them to, to, to a certain phase that we call, let's say, at least phase, phase one, uh, safety in human. Mm -hmm and sort of shelve that against all, uh, all, all these diseases. And if uh, uh, an epidemic would start, first it would not start as brutally as that, so there would be time to, 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 to notice it, as, as, as they mention, mentioned, and then we would then use that, that uh, sort of ready-made uh, vaccine first stage. That was exactly the case as Ebola. The, the research was done in the early 2000s. There was uh, a vaccine uh, preclinical uh, candidates made, and that's why it went so fast when, when it when when it came out mm -hmm. and the vaccine could then be progressed very quickly to to a phase one and and a phase two and so on so the idea is then to to, f to fund research on this list of disease so that we we prepare as much as we can vaccines that are ready not commercialized but then could be used in that situation before it gets mm -hmm. out of control let's say oh. so that's the preparedness plan okay so so be prepared then was it be prepared the, the in in terms of vac vaccines we can't stop globalization, but how can we mitigate its effects, maybe? I think it's extremely difficult to, to mitigate the effects yeah. effectively. I mean, one thing that's interesting to look back to is the 1918-1919 flu pandemic, which killed more people than the First World War. Even in that case, it turned out that it was carried on ships across the Atlantic, and you saw it within a, a few months spread, spreading <laughs> across the world. And now we're so much more mobile. There's so many, whether, whether just whether sort of fruits, livestock, uh, but also people traveling mm. across and th I mean you can you can have scanners at at airports or do various things to try and check whether people have elevated temperature and so on but I think it can reduce the risk but it, it, the likelihood of, of catching every case and you know and if you have a sort of highly infectious mm. disease then even if you know a few cases get through you, you can still start a, a, an epidemic and, and if, if the conditions are right it, it can still get out of control so it's, it's likely to give you a bit more time or to, or to more, more sort of create a bottleneck which will mean that you've got more time to get things sorted out mm. but the, I think the likelihood of as it were keeping our sort of our septa dial pure from, from <laughs> infectious disease by scanning people who's coming through the borders it's a you know it's a it's a probably a UKIP <laughs> fantasy okay, so you either catch everyone <laughs> or you don't catch, catch anyone it there's yeah. also the point of uh, scientifically it's um, incubation period yeah so there's this period where you you, you got the disease mm. well uh, or the, the bug I mean not yet the disease you got the bug it's not get yet caused the disease you don't show it, then you would cross the border and have no temperature, mm -hmm. and then the disease uh, comes out. I think SARS is a yeah. bit in, in that area mm. where you, you had this sort of five days, and actually the, the disease would come uh, when you, you'd be in hospital, and that's where you infected all the, the, the healthcare workers. So in, in that case, uh, I think it's in interesting to know how much they give time. Bef you, s you, you breed the spore, and how long be before the people get infected. If it's very short, mm. actually it's somewhat easier to contain then this sort of period where you carry it and then you can yeah. take it everywhere in the world with nobody noticing mm. and then it comes out. So short yeah. is not good couple for the bug. Couple of days in this case. Couple of days, so yeah, I, I guess it's a dangerous the area. The R number, is that right? The number of people that it would infect, like per person, yeah. So maybe you can explain what the R number is. Uh, only very, very briefly, just really a, a, a yeah. kind of virus or an, an infection would get an R number as to how many people it is likely to infect. So if you came in contact with Ten people and it had an R value of one or something like that, or you know, not point one. Or it would affect the equivalent mm. percentage of people. So, kind of, um, just kind of tagging onto the back end of your discussion there with the incubation period. I think that's a really interesting point to bring up as well because that's one of the big things, like one of the big challenges. Mm. Because if you're not symptomatic, then you know you could quite easily pass through controls. And even if you're asked to fill in, which you know during the SARS outbreak you were asked to fill in health cards when you went through an airport, you might not know that you're infected, mm -hmm. or you might not wish to disclose that. You know you're in some ways expecting people to be completely honest with their health conditions without any guarantee of what will happen to them if they do disclose that kind of condition. Yeah. Can I say a bit more about the R number? It's yeah. kind of a really important point, you can do it mathematically, but maybe the key thing to remember is that 
if you can start with one person and then they infect five people and they inf each one of those five people infect five more people, they infect each one of those five infect mm. five more people. Before you know it, you know, the, the whole world can be infected within a very short period. Get off the street, people! Move it! Yeah.